I had a lot of people asking me about doing the podcast, being a guest on the podcast. I haven't made no special guest appearances because I've been kind of putting that off. Um, and as far as my own, like really when I think about it, this is kind of my podcast right here. So that's really what I've been sticking to. Like, I don't really have the time to put into it where I can like officially say a uh, podcast coming every Wednesday. This is what I be doing. I have a consistent schedule where I'm dropping videos on a consistent basis. So you kind of just get what you get from me right now. And I appreciate everybody for just sticking with me through this journey because I told y'all before things have changed and they continue to change, but I'm all right with moving at my own pace. Cause I know why I did this in the first place. And um, I could, I really couldn't be happier with the way that things are going. You know, it's allowing me to just take things in stride and learn each and every time I produce a video, I'm doing something different or I'm learning something different. So that's good enough for me. So today, man, today is about grace, forgiveness, and knowing when to walk away. And I think, um, I wanted to get a lot of different opinions on how people feel about a couple of topics. This is where you come in. Uh, I appreciate the people that have actually commented on the videos. That's helpful. It just lets me know there's actually somebody out there watching. So uh, people talk to me about like, why do I talk about relationships so much? And I really had to think about it. Like, I, I don't know. So. In my thoughts, I realized that like outside of the basic elements of water and air and food and all of the things that we need to keep ourselves alive outside of that, what's more important to our lives than relationships? Like without that, we really have nothing. So, you know, from the professional relationships to uh, intimate, private, personal, your family, your friends, uh, associates, people you come in contact with, that's really like a barometer for a lot of things is how we measure a lot of things. And I've noticed that uh, people have a really hard time with things changing, whether it's naturally, whether it's something you did, whether it's something another person did. I kind of encourage people to exercise a little more grace because that's what I've had to learn in my life. And to be honest, I've forgiven people for things that you probably wouldn't. I'm gonna just go ahead and take a guess because some of the things that I've been through in my life, I've really surprised myself with how I've responded to it. But at the same time, um, well, I'll say this, um, you can forgive pretty much anything. Like it's possible to forgive almost anything. But then at the same time, I understand that we all have boundaries. We all have, we all have limits. <laughs> You set these limits for yourself. And a lot of that is attached to a previous trauma or something you've been through. That's, that kind of stuff has really challenged me to grow. Where, all right, I set this boundary and you can't cross this line at all. I will not let you get in here. After you do this certain thing, I'm just not cool with it. I'm not cool with you, you gotta go. I, well, for one, I learned that I didn't have very many boundaries, <laughs> so. I let people kind of get away with things and I would just let, I would just let it build. And that's one of my flaws is just allowing things to build to the point where now I'm exploding, I'm reacting. It's like that pressure just builds until it, it bursts. And once that happens, then I probably, it's not that I'm wrong in how I feel, but the way I express certain things that can kind of get me in trouble. But, um, yeah, man, it's okay to say you cross the line and you don't get to come back over here. And I think it's kind of hard for people to deal with that, especially when they feel like they got you in whatever capacity that is, they got you. You're not going nowhere, you would never leave, you would never end this friendship or relationship because of whatever ties you have, right? Um, I've come to understand a reason in a season and that some people just don't get to be in your life for as long as you thought they would be there, and that's okay. It's part of the growth process, man. And of course, it's things that we all wish we could take back, but you can't have it both ways. If you feel like everything happens for a reason, 
and you just gotta go with that. It's part of your growth. It's gonna be things you look at in your past and kind of cringe it's like, damn, I really did that. Damn, I can't believe I did that. But I'm pretty sure you won't do it again, right? Especially if you feel like that about it. So it's part of the growth. It's all a part of the process. So you just gotta let it be what it is. Um, as far as reconciliation, um, that can be kind of tricky. And that's another one of the things that's been uh, like heavy on my mind because of, because I've been the perpetrator in certain situations and I've also had people do things to me where it's like, you gotta make a decision. Is this person really important enough for me to do the work that it takes to work on that bind? Cause it's been broken. Um, man, I've had people to this, I mean, there's somebody to this day that won't talk to me and it's something they did to me. Now, granted when I approached them, the way I approached them, I probably could have changed a couple of things, but I meant what I said. And you know, I was real in what I felt and I didn't hold back. I expressed everything I needed to express and that was that. And um, the problem is once you get to the point where you can forgive a person, then how do you move forward? In time, I tried to go back and like fix that relationship. And I just realized that um, sometimes a person can't deal with what they did, you know? They try to make it seem like it's you, but you just remind them of what they did. Or whenever they have to be around you or have to see you, it reminds them of what a relationship used to be and it just can't go back to being what it used to be. That relationship will never be what it was before. And that's a really hard thing for some people. It's a hard pill for people to swallow. Um, now, I don't really have a whole lot of people that I need to like work out issues with. You know, for me, it is what it is in most cases. But um, there's been some people where I'm like, damn, I, I really wish things would have worked out differently. But again, that's life. So um, I wanted to ask all of y'all, just drop it in the comments, talk about a situation that you've had a hard time forgiving the person with uh maybe you've been the person that needed forgiveness that's why i come back to we gotta exercise a little bit of grace none of us are perfect and we're in a generation full of victims where people don't really talk about what they did it's always what somebody did to them so that's what makes it kind of hard for me to respect a lot of people because i ask you like what did you do what did you do that's a hard question for people to answer a lot of times they don't want to deal with that part it's always well, they did this, they did that, and okay, I hear you. But um, a relationship goes both ways. It's a two-way street, it's not one way. And if you're in a relationship with a person that wants it to be one way, then you gotta let them go. You know, it's a lot of narcissists running around. And you just gotta wish them the best, man. I hope whatever it is that you got going on, you can fix, but I'm off this ride. And, um, now, I don't, I don't think it's a right or wrong answer to any of this. Again, I think it just comes back to how important is that relationship to you? Um, for some people, it's, it's pretty easy to let them go. You know what? You know, we had our time and, you know, that's what it is. For other people, you might have different kind of ties that, you know, pull at your strings. And it's all emotional, honestly. The only way people can really get to you is when you let them in. You know, it's the people we let get close to us that can hurt us. That's the only possibility. Because if I don't know you, I don't really care. You can't really say or do a whole lot that will really make me react or care. Like, whatever, man. I, I don't know you. It's the people that we let in, that we let get close to us. We start setting the expectations for people. And sometimes that's not even fair. Um, we all kind of define friendship in a different manner. Like if I go across the room and ask a bunch of people about what does it mean to you to be a friend or what is a friend? Um, we might agree on a couple of things here or there, but for the most part, what I've noticed is everybody has a different idea of what a friend is in the first place. So um, that also brought me back to something I was saying not too long ago and that nobody ever taught us how to be friends. Uh, like. Well, my mom and my grandmother, like they used to tell me all the time, like you don't have no friends. 
And it wasn't that they were saying you don't have friends, you won't have friends in your life. It's more so that you don't really understand friendship in the first place. You know, we, we consider people friends because these are the people we spend our time around. It's a proximity kind of thing. You know, you grew up around these people. You went to school with them. You played on the same uh, AAU team or whatever, you know, latchkey. The proximity is like a major part of what brings people together in the first place. You know, it's, it's about where you are and who's in that area. Environment and all of the people that surround you, those are the people that you'll be in contact with. So that's, that's how friendships are like formed in the first place. It's just who you're around. Where I've taken that philosophy and kind of started to build on it is I realized that, like I said, nobody taught us how to be friends. And at the same time, um, you know, they told us all about what a friend isn't, right? That's not a friend, that's not a friend. Your friend wouldn't do this, your friend wouldn't do that. Okay, well, what is a friend? What can I expect from a friendship? And because people are not linear, I mean, friendship can go a lot of different ways. Relationships can go a lot of different ways. And people change over time. Um, that's why I've learned to exercise grace because sometimes people have to do a couple of shitty things to get to be the people that they are. You gotta have a story. It's, it's all a part of us growing and progressing through life. You have to go through some things to become who you are. It's my personal belief that time is really the only deciding factor. Like, that's where the revelation comes in. Like, time heals all and reveals all. Time is really the only way you find out who your true friends are. So, man, you gotta be willing to wait it out sometimes. And that's how you figure it out. That's what's made me, I guess, such a forgiving person. And sometimes I don't even like myself for that. I wish I wish I wouldn't be so forgiving because I feel like some people don't deserve it. I feel like people don't deserve the satisfaction of having me tell them I forgive them because people, people play on that, people prey on that. It's like a weakness when you're a person that can forgive and keep moving. Then they feel like they got you and they can come back and do whatever they want to do. And um, that's where the boundaries become important. So yeah, this is the kind of stuff that's on my mind, man. That's why I come back to relationships as much as I do, because it's such a such an integral part of life. It, it means so much more as I get older that I'm, I'm careful about who I spend my time around. I'm careful about who I associate with, because you know even that can lead to a lot of different things you might not want in your life because of who you associate with. Guilt by association is a thing. So if I got somebody over here that, you know, that's, we tight, that's my dog. He been solid from day one. He just do some things off on the side that I can't be around, I can't be associated with. If I'm seen with you in public, I'm putting myself at risk. You know, that's hard. That's, that's so hard, man. Nothing is black and white, man. As much as we want it to be, nothing is black and white. There's so many shades of gray. Um, there's so many things left up to interpretation. So I feel like there's no right or wrong answer to anything. It's really just your perspective. And uh, that's why I'm interested in the perspective of other people. That's why I kind of encourage everybody to leave a comment, share an experience, get involved. Because you're here and you're watching, so you might as well become a part of this. I love you. And I appreciate all y'all for sticking with me. And I'm out. It was all just feelings, man. It's from females to friends to funerals. It's all about the feelings. Dude, I just want you to recognize the difference between uh, what you feel and what's real. <laughs>